Hey, this is a bit of a lip video. In Australia, we have something now this will is called in the US. It's the messenger school in the It's a theoretical way to individualize funding for people with disabilities. As with every new scheme, there's a lot of fear and trepidation there, so what people should do. I'm pretty unique and lucky in that I have experience in all three sectors of the disability triangle, as I call it. And that you got the participant or the person with a disability, you've got the service providers, and you've got the government. Now, the new system says that a person with a disability is in the centre of the system. However, unless you want to uh, put yourself in that, in that centre, that is not exact. Just way too. So here are a few tips as to how you can go about getting the best out of the NUS. And this is from my experience personally, but also as a re result of being involved in direct funding and seeing my disability as an advantage. Other than disadvantage, plus being on a um, service provider and government boards as well, dealing with the whole implement, implementation of the system. The number one key point when you're at planning meeting, despite all the hype. You'll only get one of those. And the number one key point to remember is that if you don't believe you, you deserve to get the support, you won't get the support because the planner that you're meeting with might have to deal with 20 people. And 20 plans in a week, particularly in these rollout phases. Therefore, you have to learn to see yourself and see your disability as not only something that you need care for, but see your disability as part of your life and therefore understand your life fully so that you have a position where you're negotiating equally with that care planner so that you get the best deal for yourself. It is like imagining yourself as a used car and instead of highlighting your defects, if you then if you highlight your, your positive features and say, with the NDIS, I can do more with this and this and this um, here. Rather than being like everyone else and focusing on the negative, then you're going, going to come away with a better plan. So, the number one key point is unless you put yourself at the centre, you're actually going to be put at the margin and be considered as an honourable. So that is what the biggest tip that I can give anyone when they go into their pre-planning meeting.